Shalom Yiladim. Let's continue learning about the Lulav and Etrog. Remember we said that the Lulav and Etrog are made up of four parts. They are called the Arba Minim, four kinds. We have the Lulav, we have the Hadassim, we have the Aravos, and the Etrog. Here it is, the Etrog. Now, why did Hashem choose all these four things? Why didn't He choose different plants or different things to put together? Why did Hashem tell us to put together the palm, the hadasim, hadasim, the aravos, and the etrog. So I'm going to teach you today something about each one of these parts. Let's talk about the lulav first. The lulav comes from a date tree. So, the lulav tastes good because the dates are delicious, but it does not smell good. What does that remind us of? It reminds us of a person who loves to learn Torah, but he doesn't like to do mitzvot. He has taste but he does not have a good smell. When he learns Torah, he learns it to become smart, but not to do mitzvot. Here is our lulav, and here is our man. He's busy learning, but he's not doing chesed. He has taste, but no smell. Let's look at the next part. The next part are the Hadassim. Well, Hadassim smell delicious. Sometimes we use them for Bissamim when Sukkot is over. But it does not have any taste. There's no fruit on the Hadassim tree. So the Hadassim have smell but no taste. They do, these are like people who do the mitzvot, but they don't learn Torah. They don't learn more or how to do the mitzvot very well. Let's look over here. Here is the Hadassim. It has a smell but no taste. Do you see? He's doing chesed by giving food to his animal. But what does he say? I have no time to learn Torah. I have no time to learn more. So he has a smell, but no taste. Let's look at the next one. The next one are the Aravot. The Aravot don't have any taste and they don't have any smell. This is like a person who doesn't learn Torah and he doesn't do mitzvot. How sad. Look at the Aravot. See the man here? He doesn't know that really he should be learning and he should be doing mitzvot. The Aravot have no taste and no smell. Let's look at the Etrog. Oh, the Etrog has taste because it's a fruit and it has smell. Whoa! The etrog 
is perfect. That's like a person who learns Torah and he does mitzvot. How amazing. He has the taste and he has the smell. Let's look. Whoa, look at that. There is the man. He's learning Torah and he's taking care of his family at the same time. And Etrog has taste and smell. What does Hashem say? Hashem says, I want you to take the lulav, which has taste but no smell which has Torah, a person who has Torah, no mitzvot, and the Hadassi, that have smell, but no taste, have mitzvot, and no Torah, and the Aravot, who have no smell, no taste, like the man who does not do mitzvot, and who does not get to learn, and the Etro, that has taste and has smell. That's the person who learns Torah and does mitzvot. And Hashem says, each one of these types of people are special to me. They are my children. But if everyone comes together, they will be able to learn from one another. Hashem says, I want you to take these arba minim, these four parts of the lulav and etrog, because they are like for all the people, all the different types of people that there are in Kalal Yisrael. These four types and I want you to bring them together and I want you to make a bracha and I want you to feel achdus, togetherness one another to help each other because when we come together we are like one we become the best that we can be and we show Hashem that no matter where we are, in what direction we are, when we come together, we are the best that we can be. And that's what Hashem wants from us. He doesn't want us to be one part here, one part there, one part there. He wants us all to come together in Achdus as one. This Sukkot, we hope that everyone will come together to recognize that Hashem is taking care of us while we were, are sitting in our Sukkah, that we are grateful for all the parts of our body that we're reminded of when we look at our Lulav and Etro. And when we bring the Lulav and Etrog together, then we remind ourselves that we are Klal Yisrael and we have to look out for one another. What a great thing. Many, many lessons during this Chag of Sukkot. And the lessons that we learn during Sukkot, they're going to take us into the whole year. And Hashem is going to smile and be so, so proud of us. Shalom Yiladim.